Hello friends, in this video, we are going to discuss the numerical one depending on the compensated semiconductor. So the numerical is given like this, an n-type semiconductor containing 10 to the power 16 phosphor atoms per centimeter cube and is doped with 10 to the power 17 boron atoms per centimeter cube. So calculate the whole concentration assuming Ni equals to 10 to the power 10 per centimeter cube. So from the problem we can see that silicon atom or material is doped with two types of impurities. First one is the phosphor atoms and second one is the boron atom and phosphor atoms is a group 5 impurity and boron atom is a group 3 impurity. So that means both donor and acceptor impurities has been given inside the silicon material. So it is a compensated semiconductor. So we can say that the concentration for the acceptor impurity will be given by 10 to the power 17 atoms per centimeter cube and the concentration of the donor impurity atoms will be of the phosphorus 10 to the power 16 atoms per centimeter cube. Now we can see that the acceptor concentration is greater than the donor concentration that is Na is greater than Nd. So we can say it is a P type compensated semiconductor now we have to calculate the whole concentration for this p type compensated semiconductor so we know that the p type compensated semiconductor majority carrier concentration will be the whole which is denoted by p suffix p and it is equals to n a minus n d divided by 2 plus root over of n a minus n d divided by 2 whole square plus n i square. We have used this equation because the n i value has been provided in the numerical. So, we know the value of Na, we know the value of Nd and we also know the value of Ni which is given by 10 to the power 10 per centimeter cube. Now, if we put all the values of Na, Nd and Ni, then we can find the value of P suffix P as 9 into 10 to the power 16 per centimeter cube. So this is the majority carrier concentration, majority carrier concentration for P type compensated semiconductor and this will be nothing but the whole concentration. And in the question they have asked to find the whole concentration. Now suppose if I want to extend this problem, now we can also calculate the electron concentration in this p-type compensated semiconductor. 
so for that we have to use the mass action law and mass action law gives the minority carrier concentration that is the electron concentration in the p type compensated semiconductor will be ni square divided by majority carrier concentration that is p suffix p and we know the value of ni that is 10 to the power 10 whole square and we know the value of p suffix p that is 9 into 10 to the power 16 per centimeter cube. So ultimately we will get 1.11 into 10 to the power 3 per centimeter cube and this will give the minority that is the electron concentration for this p type compensated semiconductor so this is all about the numerical one thank you